What is the difference between buy and hold and constant mix strategy? The buy and hold investment strategy can be said to be a do nothing strategy. That is to say that after purchasing your investments, you basically do nothing to it. On the other hand, a constant mix strategy means that you always maintain a fixed percentage of risky assets in your portfolio. Constant mix strategy is often called rebalancing to the strategic asset allocation. So, what are the advantages and disadvantages of both strategies? First, let's assume markets are in an uptrend. A buy and hold strategy does well if markets are in an uptrend. This is because as risky assets grow in size, the proportion of risky assets get larger and larger in percentage and thus benefit from the appreciation of the prices of the risky assets. On the other hand, a constant mix strategy implies that the appreciating assets are sold off, i.e. profits are taken to buy other assets, so as to maintain the same percentage of risky assets in the portfolio. Therefore, a constant mix strategy does poorly compared to a buy and hold strategy in a bull market. Second, let's assume markets are in a downtrend. The buy and hold strategies risky assets get smaller and smaller in terms of its percentage due to the depreciation of the risky assets prices. On the other hand, a constant mix strategy is forced to maintain the same percentage of risky assets during the downtrend. Hence, the constant mix strategy is worse off compared to buy and hold in the bear market. I want you to pause and think about it. Normally, a bull run or bear run span across a couple of years, sometimes over five years. If you are a strong advocate of rebalancing, it just means your portfolio, regardless of market direction, will underperform someone else who simply does nothing. It is for this reason that many investors do not feel they benefited from the rebalancing strategy because their feeling is that their portfolio appears to have very low returns compared to simply doing nothing. Nevertheless, the constant mix strategy does work quite well in an oscillating market. When markets are oscillating, constant mix strategy forces the investor to take profit when prices go up and buy when prices go down. On the other hand, the performance of a buy and hold strategy during an oscillating market is flat. As it can be seen that different strategies yield different results depending on the conditions of the investment markets. If in doubt, always engage a professional investment advisor.